This exhibition is called The Impossible Garden and it came about as a part of a residency I did at the Eye Hospital. And I visited um, the hospital and spoke with patients about their eye conditions. And this exhibition has been sort of inspired by optical phenomena. And there are 12 uh, exhibits for people to explore, each of which uh, relate to different um, aspects of, of vision. A few weeks ago, we staged an event for colourblind people. Um, and we had about 20 people who were colourblind coming from around, around the UK, actually. Uh, to try on these special glasses that can kind of compensate for colour blindness. So that was really amazing and there were some people who got very emotional where they were putting these glasses on for the first time and able to see a spectrum of colour that they wouldn't have experienced before. We're standing next to a giant picnic bench and what's funny about that is from a distance it, it, you don't quite realise what it does but when someone walks and sits on the bench, it suddenly makes them look really small. As an artist, I'm colourblind, uh, which makes it really difficult to make paintings of any standard, uh, but it's given me an interest in visual perception, and I'm hoping that these artworks will sort of inspire people to think about the processes of their own vision. So there's a mother and child sculpture over there and when you're looking at it from, from a distance uh, directly in front of it, it almost disappears in the landscape and yet as you move around these uh, sculptural figures suddenly appear like sort of shadows in the landscape. So it's a really simple kind of sculptural idea. There's a whole range of different artworks but for me they act as sort of experiments really, sculptural experiments that can lead to larger and more ambitious art projects in the future.